Hey everyone, this is Chelsea with Scott Lori Marketing. And today's tip video, we're going to talk about how you can create a custom page for your KW agent website. So we want to keep in mind that this is for the brand new upgraded website that has been released. So that's really gonna be your first step. If you have not yet upgraded, you'll wanna make sure that you do that first before continuing to watch this tip video today. So if you have upgraded to the new website, we're gonna log into our command. You're gonna come to the consumer app. So it's going to be the last applet on the left-hand side. And once you get brought to this page, we're going to click on Edit My Website. Once we are on this page, you're going to see that we have a few options here under Quick Start. So this is going to allow us to customize our website a little bit further, which is really exciting. So we are going to click on Custom Page. And this is going to bring us into our new custom page editor. So what this is going to do is allow us to create a page that we can customize and add various different modules, change the look of it, et cetera. So I'm gonna go through and show you all of the different options that you have. So in looking at the top, you're going to see that we have three sections. We're gonna start in the main tab the first section is going to bring us to name the page. So whatever you want your page title to be. So if we were creating a custom page, let's say it's based off of our market statistics, we're going to put that in our page title. And then you're gonna notice over on the right-hand side that it's going to show you in real time that update. So now we are able to see our page title on our page. So as we scroll down, it's going to give us some information um, or sorry, some options of how we want our page to look. So the first thing that we do have the option of deciding is whether we even want the title to be showing on our page. So if we wanted to go ahead and click on that toggle button to hide the title, now you're going to see over on the right hand side that our title is no longer appearing. So that is totally up to you whether you do want that to show or not. However, this is going to be the toggle of how you can make that change. Next, we do have a background image. So if we go ahead and click on this plus sign, we're going to click right in here where it says required. And then we get to select an image that we want. So let's go ahead and choose this one. We're going to X out of that. And now you're going to see we have added a background image. So on the right side, you can see we have our page title. And now we have our image showing in the background of our page. So now we're going to scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a section that says page contents. And below that, it has a plus sign and it allows you to add a module. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So this is going to allow you to add various sections to your page to really get into that customization that you're looking for on your website. So you're going to see that you have the option to add for rich text, for a stat list, for video. If we click on all, and then we start to scroll down, you're going to see that there's video modules. And then we do have some additional modules at the bottom that we can also add to our page, including to add a form, an HTML embed, or if you're looking to embed an iframe. So those are all of the specific uh, additional information that you are able to add to your page. So let's say just because this, uh, in this instance, we are adding a market statistics page, let's go ahead and look at our stat lists. And you do have two different options of how it can show up. So we're just going to click on A. We're going to scroll down a little bit. Now this is going to open up the options for us to customize this particular section on our custom page. So this is going to be part of the statistics within this statistics page. 
So we can add a title if we wanted to. So let's say we wanted it to be um, average list price per county. You can add a description if you would like. So description here. Next, we have our spot that says stats. So this is where we are able to add the statistics. So if we go ahead and click on this, it again will provide that dropdown for us to add that information into that section. So under main, we're going to now put the title of the statistic. So let's say county one, and then we get to add a value. So let's say it was 739. We can make that italicized. We can also change the formatting of it as well. Let's say we wanted to add another statistic. So on this one, we're going to do county two. Let's make the value 539. And this one, we're going to bold. And we're going to underline it. And then, so this is our main section. Let's go over to styles and see if there's anything that we can change on here. So we're going to click on this drop down. It's going to bring up a preset where we can click on this drop down and decide if we want the preset to be custom or none. And that again is based off of whatever you're looking for. However, if you do decide to make it a custom preset, then you will have the option to update the title position as well, meaning you get to choose whether it is showing up towards the left or the right side of the screen. So let's just say we're gonna pick left. And let's say that's enough of our statistics right now. The next section we have is a call to action. So if we click on this drop down, you have the option to do a call to action to an external place or internally just within your own website. So if we are deciding to do a call to action internally, we do have two tabs again. Under our main section, we have a call to action button. We can type in, please call us today for more information. Oops. And then under that, we have item required. Oops. And from here, you are able to add any specific pages that you have already created if you wanted it to go to another page. Now, let's say, for instance, you wanted to make it an external call to action. You do have that option as well. So we're going to write the same thing. Call us today for more information. This time, instead of redirecting your client from that call to action to go to another part of your website, you can share an external link. So you can put a link uh, or a URL here that will then, when they click on that information, it's going to bring them to another link. So let's say you wanted to have them book directly into your Calendly. You can put your Calendly link in here and then it will redirect them to book a call with you. So that's a little bit about the call to action. So the last thing that we're going to talk about, we have another add module. So if we wanted to click on this, this is going to give us the ability to add another module to this page. So it is important to know that you can add multiple modules to a single page. So let's say now we wanted to add a form at the bottom. We could click on that. It's going to provide a drop down where we can then uh, choose a form that has already been created. So we'll do the contact me. You're going to see on the right hand side that now it has added that contact module for you on your page. 
And then the last thing that we have, it's showing to hide page in navigation. So this is if you do not want the page showing up on the top of your website and you just want to be able to share a specific link for people to be able to find this website or sorry, this custom page, you can toggle that on as well. So again, that is totally based off of your preference. So we're gonna scroll back up to the top, all the way up to the top. So that was our main tab. Next, we have our styles. So this is just going to provide some information on how you can change up the style. So you can change how your headings look. And again, you can choose automatic or you can decide uh, if you want a video to be in the background instead of the image. So you can choose that. Your preset where you can customize it or you can just have no customization for it. And the customization here for the preset, meaning um, if it's going to be on the right side or the left side, you can change the heading size. So let's say we wanted it to be large. And then the page sub, we'll do medium. So what that means is the header is going to be the, the heading information, such as market statistics here. The page subheading is going to be a smaller uh, heading that is below the initial page title. So you get to change those sizes. And then below that, you get to change the actual page style. So again, you have your template. Right now, there is only the default that is automatically um, available for you, but keep an eye out for anything that is upgraded. You have your preset as well, so you get to change either to custom or to none if you do not want to have a preset. You can choose a background color. So if this is something that you're looking to change up the color of your page, you can do so here. You can change your primary text color to primary inverse text color. So what that means is that if your, let's say your font is red and your page is white, it's going to inverse those colors for you, and which means that then the text would be white and the background would be red. And then the last option that you have on this page is going to be should this, the search bar be shown in the header. So you do have the option of whether you want a search bar to be at the top of the page or not. We're going to scroll back up. The last thing we're going to talk about today, our last tab is going to be the URLs. And this is how you are able to confirm what you want the URL to be for this custom page. So if we click on add, you're then going to type in the forward slash, and then test market statistics. So let's say that's what we wanted our URL to be. From here, you have the option on the dropdown to choose whether you want this to be on your agent site or if you want this to be on your team site if you are part of a team. So once you have determined what your URL is going to be and you are satisfied with the way that your website looks, you can go ahead and click publish and then it is automatically going to publish that page for you. And keep in mind that as you are working on your custom page, it is saving that for you as well. Um, you will see this in the top refresh and it will continuously be saving that for you. So that is how you can go ahead and create a new custom page in the upgraded website. Let us know if you have any questions.